Good morning. It's great to have your company this Tuesday, the 10th day of August. My name is Jessica Ramirez, Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Well, business confidence data is ahead today and challenger results that are a cracker. Expect CGF shares to charge. But now let's go to overseas markets. Well, overnight, US investors were busy adjusting portfolios for the week ahead, bracing for a big jump in US inflation data on Wednesday night. We saw investors continue to sell out of oil stocks, seeing the energy sector fall one and a half percent on concerns that there's rising COVID-19 cases, while investors also sold down stocks tied to the economic recovery. For example, investors sold down American Airlines and United Airlines, and both shares fell about 2% each. On the flip and positive side, investors bought more tech stocks. Moderna, which is in the Nasdaq, rose 17% bolstered by news that its vaccine is approved for use in Australia, which will boost Moderna's sales. Tesla, another tech stock, was another standout, rising 2% after Jefferies, a broker, upgraded Tesla, expecting the car makers' shares to jump 20% over the next year. All in all, though, as for how the major indices finished, the Nasdaq up 0.2%, the other major indices fell into the red, falling from their brand new record highs. As for what to watch today locally, well, firstly, the futures were early suggesting the Aussie share market will rally up to a brand new record high. The futures were suggesting a rally earlier of 0.3%. What also works in our favour is that we'll soon have a third vaccine, Moderna's vaccine, as we mentioned earlier, approved for use by the TGA. Look, regardless, one of Australia's leading epidemiologists says that our nation is on track to having 70% of people vaccinated by November with their first dose. And that's good news for markets. Secondly, what else is good news for markets? Earning season results are continuing to come out better than expected. Today, Challenger CGF announced a huge recovery in the 2021 financial year. It swung from a loss in 2020 to a $592 million statutory net profit after tax, a huge beat also compared to what the market expected. The market was only expecting profit of $284 million, quite Quite, uh, quite a huge win there for Challenger. So its profit strengthened on the back of a couple of things. Firstly, assets under management grew and they also saw record sales. But don't forget, thirdly, as bond yields rise, which they are slightly rising, insurers like CGF and banks make more money. So that worked in CGF's favour too. But wait, there's more. Challenger declared a four-year dividend of 20 cents per share. That's a 14% jump on the same time last year. But wait, there's more. Uh, CGF also expects a stronger 2022 with profits tipped to grow 15%. As for what else to watch today, will a coal producer, Coronado Global Resources, CRN, they report their half-year results at 10 a.m. today, so look out for them. The third element to watch, commodity stocks. Why? Well, the oil price fell 40 cents or by 0.6% compared to the same time yesterday. Uh, the oil price is now at $66.84 US a barrel. That's the same price, believe it or not, that it last traded in May. Gold, meantime, holds its four month low, but it rose ever so slightly up by 0.3 of a percent after we saw that massive tumble in the prior session on better than expected jobs numbers. Of course, a safe haven doesn't like when uh, we see good news from the economy. Meanwhile, the iron ore price, the Seaborn iron ore price, that is, that gained almost 1%. So that supported Rio Tinto listed in New York, rising by 0.7%, while BHP listed in New York fell slightly. Uh, and that was uh, partly in due to the fact that the copper price has fallen 1%. But expect locally listed BHP in New York to see some mixed gains Um, or perhaps some mixed results today, I should say. The fourth element to watch, economic news, business confidence data out today. And trading ideas, let's move to those. Trading ideas that could be worth a look. Well, the A2 Milk Company, A2M, reiterated as a Bell Potter buy, a price target of $8.50. That implies 45% share price growth in a year. So what's new for A2 Milk? Well, although we know the China infant milk formula imports are still 
continuing to fall in shipments to Hong Kong. They're still down too by about 84% year on year. But Bill Potter thinks the market is now showing signs of bottoming. And Bill Potter expects or thinks that market expectations for FY22 earnings are too low. As such, Bell Potter estimates FY22 earnings will be 319 million New Zealand dollars. And that is a 131% improvement on this year's expected numbers for the 2021 financial year. And lastly, but not least, bullish charting signals have been identified in Karoon Energy KAR, Elixir Energy EXR, and Cenex Energy SXY. And that's according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Marie with Bell Direct. Stay safe. Happy trading. 